Hi everybody, it's Dr. Modi Charter again, back again for another hoot. This time I got the cool sunglasses. And a lot of people are like, what? You got a selfie stick? And I said, no, I got a monopod. So hopefully this will work. I'm in the middle of the barn owl breeding season. We're in the Hula Valley, where my major uh, field site is. We have Hula Valley cam number four online, but in addition to that, we have about 150 other boxes in this area that every year we go and we monitor and we study these barn owl pairs. So I'm gonna try to upload a little bit more frequently now, some of the cool stuff I get to see in the field. Uh, this year, there seems to be lots of barn owls, more than one pier with eight or nine nestlings already, including cam four. So that means there's lots of nestling, that means there's lots of food. This is a beautiful site. As you can see behind me in Ahula Valley, there's lots of irrigation ditches with water. Water is very important. Rodents need the greenery of the vegetation, not only in the fields, but in between the fields. So this provides them exactly with that. So uh, as I said, we're going through, we're checking, we're ringing the nestlings, we measure them, capturing the adults. We do many things completely dependent on the year. Every year we do something different with our research, but we always have a basic monitoring scheme that we're consistently monitoring the occupation of the nest boxes, the number of eggs, the number of nestlings that hatch, and the number of nestlings that fledge from the boxes. We do this every year. We ring all the nestlings in most of the adults. Each nestling and adult gets a specific uh, ring with a number on it and almost all of them also get another ring with a color ring that has an RFID tag basically it's very similar to the tag that your dog gets uh, for the rabies um, I'll speak more about that later but th this year the, um, the the monitors started great lots of nestlings uh, ended on a high point uh, yesterday with my ladder falling into one of these channels of water Luckily, it was only the ladder and not me. And also, luckily, nobody could film me pulling that ladder out of the channel because it's pretty funny. And I almost went in after it. it. wasn't as easy as it looks. So we're outside of a barn owl box. There was a male in here by himself roosting. He's probably breeding in one of the boxes nest to with a female. Uh, and w one of the cool things is when you go closer to the box, if you look below, you see some light. are below the boxes but this is a box agriculture fields around what you so when you go a little bit closer what do you see here any ideas well when we move closer you can see it's many 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 bones so what every year we clean our boxes we clean them once a year a lot of people complain that's not enough and we collect some of the pellets that we analyze determine what they eat but a lot of them, we the rest, we just throw below the box. What happens is the owl pellets, they um, um, they get washed from rain and from the elements, and the only thing that remains are the bones, the white bones. So you can see here, there's literally thousands of bones below this box, because this is a very successful box. I think they bred in this box the last five years or so. This year, as I said, it's just a little male. Um, so if somebody were to collect all of these bones, you can actually see what they ate for the last five years. So kind of cool stuff that we get to see all the time. This is barn owl box HA154. Uh, never had a camera here, probably won't. Uh, just nowhere to put solar panels and stuff. Uh, but you never know. So in the end, I decided to give the box a little cleaning. Um, they, so this is the bones, how they looked before, but after throwing out some of the remains in the box, you can see the bones are all covered. Quite amazing. These uh, barn owls are just really rodent uh, or small mammal eating machines. And the quantity of rodents and pellet and prey remains is tremendous. It's huge. It's very impressive. So here you can even say half half with the uh, owl pellets that I just threw out in the old remains. So I hope you know you like these videos, the other videos. We're going to hopefully add more and more videos as time goes on. Don't forget to like, comment, 
most importantly, subscribe. Again, thank you for the moderators, people that donated money. So hoot you later, and keep on watching.